Monday. Happy May. We did have bright blue skies earlier today here in North Bend, Washington. Um, the sky has gotten a little cloudier, but that's okay because it's nice and warm. So thank you for joining me and Lucy. She's going to join us on camera finally. So we are cardio today. So we have blocks of eight minutes. So we'll do four minutes roughly of core, four minutes of cardio, then move to a new block. We're gonna go 45 seconds for each move. Minute seems a little too long today. So um, we should get to about 30, 35 minutes roughly. Um, Lucy's just doing whatever, just ignore her in the background. <laughs> All right, with that, let's start with your feet underneath your hips and just start to move side to side. Keep your hips forward. Put on some loud music. Hopefully you've had a good day. Or if you're watching this first thing on another day, hopefully you're doing well. All right, now just start to pivot a little bit more. Swing that arm, reach, pivot. Good, Take everything up now. We're moving our hips. Side to side. Give me four, three, two, one. Now take those arms up and just swing. Up and swing. Just release all that tension in your shoulders. Let them go up and swing. Up and swing. And now take it into big arm circles as you start to jog it out. It's kind of like patting your head rubbing your belly, right? And take it forward. Feet are nice and light. Just starting to bring that heart rate up. Getting everything nice and warm. Good, now bring your arms. Regular runners, start bringing up those feet a little bit higher. Land softly. Right, give me 10 more seconds right here. Five. Four, three, two, one. Just shift side to side. Right there. Push your glutes back. Good side. Good. Now come forward. Step that left leg behind you. And just give me a side bend over. Don't have to go low into that lunge. Other side, side bend, reach. Good, step forward. Other side, side bend over. Come center, reach over. Good job. All right, so the first one, you're gonna come down onto your back. You're gonna go bicycle legs. You're just gonna touch your fingertips underneath. So we switch right here. If you need a break, you can drop your head. We'll move right, take a little break, then we'll move into bicycles from there. And then we've got some scissors and then toe touches. So each 45 seconds, ready in three, two, one. So don't let those knees come in toward your face or in your chest, right? The knee wants to go a little higher, that's good. Keep finding your breath. You've got 20 more seconds. Ten seconds. Take a little bit of a break. In three, two, and one. Stretch it overhead. So now as we move forward with your, move with your bicycle, as you move through your chest, not through your elbows like this, fast, okay? Ready, three, two, and go. Slow, you can take your feet, legs up a little higher, or you can stay down lower. Move through that plumb line of your chest. See as that pec is doing the rotation, not your elbows like here, right? Yep. Good. You got 15 seconds to go. Keep 
Easy breathing. your hands underneath you. You're going to come scissors down, scissors back up. Take those toes, turn them out to the side. Ready, go. So start up and go down as far as you can and then come back up. So that low back is staying layered to the earth all the whole time. Maybe you go down to 45 and come up. Toes are turned out, engaging your inner thighs as well as some core. Five seconds, three, two, and one. Nice job. All right, the next set, you're gonna go one, two, and then double, okay? So the opposite, opposite. Then both up. Ready? Three, two, one. Go. Double, single, single, double. Reach, reach, up, reach. You can always bend those legs a little bit more. Keep finding that breath. Fifteen seconds to go. Three, two, and one. Sit up nice and tall. All right. That's the first four minutes of cardio or core. All right. So your next one, cardio. So you're gonna go oh, one, two, one, two. So low shuffles okay here in a low ceiling stay low ready three two one one two one two good stay low if you want you can step big right there take out that jump Good job, 15 seconds. You 
Got it, keep going. 10 more. And stop. All right, so you're gonna come all 10 toes forward. You're gonna go side, side, step over, jump. Side, side, step over, jump up, or just knee up, okay? Ready? Shift, shift, up, jump. Shift, shift, up, over, over, up, over, over. Did I mess it up? Shift, shift, over, yep, over, over, up, over, over, up, over. Step your knee back for whatever wall you got behind you. Five seconds. Three, two, and last one. Up. All right. First block down. Grab a quick drink. We go back to core. I'm gonna turn this slightly at an angle. So you're gonna take that right leg. You're gonna come to high plank. Knee or elbow, 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 elbow back. One, two, three, four. And then repeat. We're just gonna stay on that right side for the first time, okay? So find your perfect plank. Pop up that space. Ready, come up, elbow, 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 elbow. Take it back. One, two, three, four forward. Work at your own pace. Nothing is moving except for that right leg. Ten seconds. You got it. Press your fingers apart, reach them earth into the earth. Two, one. Woo! All right, lip over. You're gonna give your legs in that butterfly position. You're gonna come up, give me a little rotation. Up, rotate to the other side. Ready? Three, two, one. Up, rotate. Back, rotate. Based on that hip mobility that you have is where your feet are placed. Maybe they're a little further out or they're a little closer in. You've got five more seconds. Three, two, and one. All right, we're going on to the other side for that tick-tock leg lift. Okay, take a breath. We get that full break. Okay, really open up those fingers. Spread your fingertips. Push that earth away from you. Pull up, cross, 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 back. One, two, three, four. Twenty seconds. Ten more. You got it. Three, two, and one. Woo! All right, roll out those wrists. Take them out a little bit. All right, you're lean back. Step forward. You're gonna lift up those shoulder blades. Reach for the outside of your heels. If you want a little deeper, go for that inside. Reach and go. Chin is slightly tucked, but you're still got a nice 
lemon size space between your chin and your neck. If your head, neck gets a little sore, put one arm behind it right here and the other arm just reaches. You're still getting that oblique work. Low back into the earth. Breathing, rib cage, pull down to those hip bones, and step. Reach overhead. All right, good work. Now for down to core. I mean cardio. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. First one, you're gonna squat up to releve, squat, then jump. If you don't want that jump, you just stay in that squat to releve. Okay. If you want the jump. You're jumping after the releve. Here we go. In three, two, one. Squat, releve, squat, jump. Squat, pull. Swing those arms. Land soft. All the weight in your heels. Up, jump. Squat, lift, jump. Fifteen seconds. Up. Jump. Five more. Three, two, and one. Okay. Everest climbers. So that's where you come. Foot comes to the outside. Back. You go at your speed. Better to put your heel up as you go, a little faster. Right, ready, three, two, go. So you can start right here, right? If you want, you can pick it up. Yeah. Come right here, and one. skips. So right, there's skips. Right here. Maybe go in a little circle. Okay? Ready? Three, two, and jump. Up. Skip. It's more entertaining to move. Right? Right here. Skip. Skip. Or you can go high knees. Pull. Take the bottom leg and rotate. 
you can stagger your feet. Okay, the goal is to just keep that bottom hip up and rotate as much as you can. And then open back up. Okay? All right. In three, find your side plank. Two, pop it up. Rotate, open, rotate, open. Maybe you take it just to your wrist. You can't get all the way to your elbow. I certainly can't. You can be right here. Still super effective for that side area. Open. Keep going. You got it. Give me five more seconds. Three, two, and stop. Good job. Stop. All right. We're going to do big sit up. So you're going to come up, rotate. Down, up, and rotate. Jeez. Up, rotate. So all the way up. If you want to bend your leg slightly, you can. Okay? Sorry about that. That's annoying. For sure. As me as an instructor, to have a bad participant. And any. All right. Ready? Take your feet long. Lift it up. Rotate. Lift over that shoulder. Back. Open. Maybe your dog is doing the same. Or your kids. Or something. Thank you for sticking with me <laughs> and not getting frustrated with any. I am. <laughs> Keep going. Three, you got 10 seconds. Three, two, and one. All right, you're gonna come to that other side. Get that elbow right under your shoulder. Find your foot placement that works for you. Open up that chest. Ready, rotate. Lift open. Rotate. So make sure you have a nice L. Hand is flat. Rotate. Open that chest. Oh man. Now we've got the landscape people. Woo! Yep, I'll be talking low. We got 20 seconds.
jacks. So, what that looks like. Toes are in, drop out to a sumo squat stance, come in, out, in. You don't have to take them out super wide. Two, drop, in. seconds. Ten more. You got it. Five, four, three, two, and one. Woo. All right. How we doing? We're good? Last round. Okay. Here we go. Lower ab. Crisscross. 40 seconds. So you lift up. We're right here. Same. Or you can, let's do scissors. Because we already did those crisscrosses. You can have your head down on the earth. Or up. Ready? Three, two, go. You can always have your hands under here. If your low back is bothering you. Head down. So you're knitting that rib cage straight down to your hip bone. You got 15 more seconds or 10. You got it. Five, four, three, two, one. Up. Good job. All right. 40 seconds. Single arm plank. So you can go up high and you're just going to have your hand right behind you. Square that shoulder, square that hip. If you want to be on your forearm, you can be on your forearm. I'd encourage you to try to go. But if you have shoulder arms or wrist, go on your forearm. All right? You're going to take that right arm behind your back. Lift up. Take your feet wide. Drop that shoulder. Drop those hips. Put your hands right underneath your shoulder. Breathe. so quiet now. Oh my gosh, 20 seconds. <laughs> you got it. Come on. Square it up if it's twisting. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Drop it down. Roll that wrist out. All right, we're not going to go to the other side quite yet. We want you to roll back. You're going to take those feet in the butterfly position and you're going to lift. So tap, up. You're going to go all the way down, lift up. Try to bring those elbows to the outside of your knees. Ready, here we go. Lift, down. So try not to bring in your elbows too much. You're going to the outside of your knees. Lift, down. We're doing great. Come on. You're almost done with this workout. You can do it. You got 10 more seconds. Breathe. Four, three, two, and one. Ooh, sweat my eyeballs. All right. Other side. So take that right arm, plant it onto the earth. Find if you're gonna do high plank or forearm. Take your feet wide, hand back. Square those shoulders and your hips. Ready and go. Drop it down.
You got it. All you can hear is your own breath and the birds chirping. Come on. Breathe through it. Square up those elbows, that shoulder, that rib, that hip. Five more. Three, two, one. Woo. All right. Good job. We are done with our core. Last two. is awesome tunes and after that some days I feel like I have it some days not so much but I hope you sweated and got a glow on that's our goal is this nice glow after every workout and feeling a little bit stronger maybe a little more patient a little more calm Take that left leg, cross it over, and stretch out that hip for a moment. Stay lifted in that spine. Try not to fall back too much on your hands. And now drop that leg over to the side. Do a nice side body stretch. Or spinal twist. And come forward. 
and revel in the quiet, or maybe your tunes are still jamming and you're just rocking out singing. That's awesome. Love it. All right, stretch through that hip. Drop it down. Rotate around. I have a feeling when I get back into the studio and I can teach again, my music is going to be so loud! <laughs> and now, come forward. Come up to the balls of your feet. Plant your hands. Slowly lift up. Forward fold, hang it over. Bend your left knees. And just give me a modified cat cow. So inhale, cow. Exhale, cat. Inhale, one more. Exhale. Slowly lift all the way up. Give me a big inhale. Exhale down. One more. Inhale up. Exhale down. If you feel like you need to have a little more areas to stretch, go ahead and stretch. Otherwise, thank you for enduring Eddie and all the chaos of neighbors and so forth. And we'll see you tomorrow. Thank you.